So B hops uh, aren't like CS. Uh, it, you, if you want to B hop, you'll hit the B hops. Like if you're decent at B hopping, it's not as hard as in CS. Last player standing. But you get a slowdown when you land. So let's say you're right here. And the Sage Slow covers all of this, right? And you want to get over here. If you just walk, you know, you're just going to get stuck. You're just going to get stuck like... Has to slowly walk while making a bunch of sound until you get over there and just get it's gonna make a bunch of sound however if you jump and it's like the average distance depending on map layout you can get through it in three jumps and you end up here with minimal sound so b hopping maintains your momentum so it's actually worth but it's not like you can foon and break timings that hard you know is it really just three jumps well it depends right so if you look at this slow to get through in here and around the corner, odds are I would need four, right? So it changes because that slow kind of merges along with the architecture around it. I, there are times where I've ran through a, a slow that's been spread in three. So no, three is not a static number, but it's way, even if it's four or five, it's still a lot faster than just walking through it. So this is how slow you are walking through this slow, actually. You don't make any sound if you're standing still. But you make sound if you crouch, walk, or sprint. All of them make sound, but not standing still. But in order to get through it, three hops right there, for instance, to get through it, compared to walking it. So let me teach you. You see these decals right here? Those are the decals I'm talking about. That is wall bangable walls. And if you're ever here, around this corner on the right side, there's a little box. So if you if you play the game on the seventh. Where you wall bank, wall bank right above this line. And that corner is a perfect headshot, right above that line. See right there? This is one of the, the times where the bullet decals are actually kind of deceptive, right? So see right here, this decal means I can't wall bang this. The cracks and the sparks from shooting right here means I can't wall bang. But then I see these. I can wall bang that part. So you would think, does that go through everything? And the answer is no. So what you're seeing is the decal for wall bang, but only on this little rim. So this little rim just is wall bangable through the corners to go below into the wall. So it doesn't actually travel through to the other side. It just wall bangs that tiny, tiny corner. These doors have armor. So they're wall bangable after you break the armor. So you can't spam it instantly. So you have to break it. And when you break it, then they become wall bangable. The wall does not give off your location when you shoot it. It's pretty cool. So you can break the walls and then they become fully wall bangable. Yo, take port and wait for me to flank, okay? Yeah. So the port is super yeah. loud. So he took the port to bait and then I'm, I'm pushing from the other side. So if they're holding right, I'm him, I'm you can go. Uh, I can flank. So right there, see they were looking at, they ran out. That's, that was my call, well, right? Take girl, port so fly. I can flank. Oof, boy, I That's you what blood. I'm calling. Yo, take port and wait for me to flank, okay? Exactly, right? Wait for so, like... they know that someone's in port because that port sound is really loud. So they know someone's in there. What are they teaching So they have to look at the doors. Because the days. doors in the port, they only open from the inside. So those are two metal doors. You can wall bang through it. But if someone from the outside goes close to him, they don't open. They only open if the person inside the ports gets close to the doors. You can wallbang it though, but they're looking at the door for the portal because they know someone's in there. So I got him on the side. Easy clap. You can camp in it, yeah. But you can also easily get killed by just getting straight through the wall. Or the door, sorry. You can do that. So the Brimstone ult, he opens the little map and he selects a zone on the map and it'll charge up and charge up and charge up and then it'll start dealing damage over time for a little bit. You can run out of it. But if you're slowed, you're stuck and it'll kill you. It's like a combo. It's insane. It's hard to hit. You only get it every so often. Generally, you use it to stop a plant. Because it's super hard to get a kill otherwise. But if you can combo it, it's so good. So right there, Skull is stuck inside this, the wall. He got walled in the portal on the door so he can't move. And they brimstone ulted the teleporter. So they, they brimstone ulted because if we have to run out there, which we can, but if we run out, they're camping it. So Scott died because he's stuck in a wall. Because they walled him in. You guys hear that portal sound? That portal sound is a player portal. When an object portals, like if you drop a pistol or you shoot an ability through, it's a different sound. I actually don't have a video of it, but for instance, the portal is one way, right? So if you take this portal outside B, this one, it'll bring you over here. 
A cool strat is Sage plus Phoenix. You Sage wall off B-Long. Phoenix ults and takes the portal and pushes through to their like deep spawn. And if he dies, he gets ported back to outside B. It's super cool. Prepare for hellfire. So that's Silva's wall hack arrow. People were spamming wall hacks OP. Wall hacks don't belong in, in this game. Days, we wall hack does not belong. So this is the recon drone. Okay, he peeks down here. I fucking break it. Yeah, he sees me. My location is revealed. That's it. He used a valuable ability and I shot it down in 3D shots. And here is his signature ability. He shoots the arrow, it bounces, and it's a wall hack arrow. This is OP, everyone says. Look at what I do. It's gone. There's no wall hack for him because I broke it. That's it. That's all there is to that. Easy. When you want to jump up on boxes on bomb sites, you as Jet or, or even Sage, you have to use abilities. It costs money to use an ability, and you have to use an ability to get on top of a box, right? So, so here... Here's me, I'm on the same map, this is a different game, this is just a 40 second highlight. But basically, as Jet, you have to use your money cost abilities to get on top of these boxes. But I found this specific jump, it's almost pixel buy. perfect. You jump that corner, you use your passive hover, and you can glitch up on that box, you and you like can this. reach everywhere else on the site. Which means you can start off a round in buy time on top of boxes yeah. without having to use I any money at all. You don't have to buy any jets. abilities no, 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 or anything. You can reach every box on their own with just your passive. And it's a hard jump. And I asked the devs, hey, is this intended? Is this what you guys wanted with this character? And he said, that is you using your character to its potential. That's what they said. No, I'm so happy. With again, playing with a S for Viper only. So you see here where Jet is red, it's actually not my wall hacks because I disabled them for the recording. It's actually Viper's ult showing where they are because they're in the, the gas. I know it seems crazy, but this is actually a pretty fun ability. Yeah, it's not that fun having to push into it, but it really changes the way that the game is played during the situation you're using the ult. So the, the ult stays for as long as she's in it. And she can step out of it for a few seconds. There's a little countdown Boy, timer was a girl, or a bar. Like, oh, well, I tell you but what. this changes the approach to the game so much. And let me teach you the biggest fucking pro tip. Specifically on this map. I got bombed down. If you, if the gas is on this site, on this map. If you jump on top of this box right here from the other side she's on. Where I planted the bomb. You go on top. You can just barely see over the gas. And you can get some crazy fucking kills. Because people will barely be able to see you. So here, perfect, perfect. Remember I told you guys Omen has the ult and he can TP anywhere on the map, right? So you see the map becomes like shadowy and you hear a TP. This is where he chose the TP to. He became, he becomes a ghost. So this is his shade form. He can't shoot or do anything. He can only look around right now and he has limited vision. Once his shade is like shade period is over, he becomes Omen. And when you kill him, he will die. However, if I kill him in this shade form, so when he looks like a ghost, I'm if I back. see this okay. and I'm walking up yeah. and I see that he ults and I see the ghost up here, if I shoot him right now, his ult will just be canceled. He'll just be teleported back to where he was. However, if I let him pass through the shade and I kill him, he just dies. Does anybody get through the tripwire without tripping it? Yes, you can jump over it. Actually, let me show you this specific play. So here, me and Summit are pushing A on Haven. A long, we push really deep. We've been super sneaky, right? No sounds. No one knows we're here. One's outside garage, you just jiggle. I'm inside. I think I I'm peeking. One's close garage. And I'm walking, right? And then I see. Oh shit. Tripwire. Tripwire, right? So I don't want to shoot because I'll hear it. So what I'm doing is I'm walking around it. I'm walking over it. Send them for this one. I just crouch jump over it. Crouch jump. It doesn't pop it. Some of them you can crouch under too. So I try to show you that the jumps aren't all possible with the basic wall that you show, but you can adjust them in ways to make sure that the other jumps are possible. So for instance, I did this play, right? You saw it earlier where I jumped from here to the default plant box, but I can make a similar play to allow me to get up there with an angled wall. So like right here, I blocked it off, right? And I can still do the same peak but I can also get to the other box. Which means that I block off the same, just the same way, and I can access all three site boxes with an angle like that instead. That So what's interesting about that boost that I just showed you, if you're attacking a plant, you wall it off like that, 
you can jump up on top of the wall and get up top on mid but the other side can't if you wall it off on this side the defending team can take that box for the jump you see how like th that box works both ways but you have to learn the lineups for both blinding. so right there i'm showing like a really popular entry flash since you're blinding the other side of that box you or your teammates will not get blinded by it but anyone that's looking on that can see the other side of the box will get blinded right so here I'm showing some other stuff, just explaining more of the details on this signature ability. It goes in a straight line on the minimap, but it does scale with the verticality. So it goes down and will hit verticality, but it's set to only hit one point. So you can't get a duplicate like sort of showing of it, right? So if I'm shooting here, I can shoot my explosive, my C ability, my explosive upwards and downwards, and it'll go upwards and downwards pretty easily. But I cannot shoot my, my ability upwards because it goes off of the nearest ground you're at and to make sure it hits anything on the ground in a line i can do similar things where i can throw my flash downwards as well and i can shoot my damage dealing ability downwards to clear the garage below me see that and even my signature ability i can hit downwards but it will only it'll hit where i'm standing and then it'll move down with a clear line so it stops right there as you can see you see how it doesn't hit below you as well? Since it hit up top, it just keeps going in a line. So it doesn't hit the below and up top. 